I'm Perry Shoemaker and I'm proud to be an Ohio pork producer. I work for Farmer Boy Ag Systems as a salesman. Uh, we build buildings all over the Midwest, uh, buildings for all sorts of livestock, mostly hogs. We also have a hog building at home that we raise hogs also. I've been in uh, hog production for about 30 years professionally, ever since getting out of high school, raised them on the family farm, and currently raise them today. What we're looking at is the beginning phases of a new hog barn. Uh, this one is just about ready for precast flooring. We'll be making our last wall pour today, and next week we'll be setting the flooring, and then on top after that we'll be setting the walls and getting ready to build the structure. The design starts with what you're going to do with the building from start to finish. Uh, most of these buildings in, in Ohio that house hogs are wean to finish or feeder to finish, meaning the pigs come directly off of the sow to this building or come from a in-between grower phase to this building. Each site is assessed before a project starts. Uh, instead of just going out in the middle of the field and putting the, the building in the middle of the field, this is a good example of a site that's well thought out, that's looked at, uh, put into an area that is upwind from possible neighbors. The trees around this site are going to serve as a very good filter to assist in, in any type of odor control or any odor that may try to escape the building. At this phase of the hog building, we have the pit floor poured, the walls are poured, and they're waiting for the flooring that the hogs will actually be standing on. Manure, urine, and water will work through the floor to go into the storage facility, keeping the manure away from the hogs and controlling odors. From there, we'll set sidewalls, roofing, ceiling, insulation. After the building structure is done, we'll come in with the equipment phase, which is pinning, ventilation, feeding, and alarm systems. After that's all done, we come in with a startup phase, where our technicians test fire all the augers, ventilation, alarm systems, and feeding systems. At the end of the startup phase, we hand the keys to the farmer, and he's ready to raise hogs for a living. We are currently in a completed building that is one of the most updated buildings as far as technology is concerned that we operate today. And we are under the startup phase today where the service tech runs through all of the systems, ventilation, water, alarms, and then he reviews the controls with the farmer. There's a lot of technology in the barns we build today, starting with the ventilation. The ventilation is extremely variable which is exactly what it takes to raise pigs comfortably today. The heaters come on automatically and can be dialed in more precise than a house. In other words, the minute it gets cold, the heaters will come on. The minute it gets hot, the heaters will go off. The ventilation will ramp up, making it a more comfortable environment. This is all automatically done through a very well-maintained computerized system feed system is automatic to maintain fresh feed delivered multiple times every day to the pigs. The watering system is fresh and monitored. It's even controlled pressure that keeps the pig from getting splashed or a little bit of a shot too much as he goes up to get a little bit of a drink or if he wants a lot he can go get a lot. The watering system also is the stingiest as far as wastage where we can control the amount of water wasted going into the pit, which then is just pumped out of the ground and put right back onto the fields. So there's no need in wasting that, nor the fuel, nor the labor to remove that excess water. While it's not your grandfather's big red barn, it's not a factory farm either. The family is still involved in the day-to-day -day operation, and with all the technology involved, we're able to take care of the pigs a lot better than we used to be able to.